Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cody O'Bear and Company. Thank you for visiting with me again today, and I hope you have had a wonderful and fun week filled with all kinds of adventures. Well, on today's show, our pal, Professor B.W. Pickleby, will be here, and he will be making a fun craft, and it involves paint. Wow, <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun to me for sure. But why don't we start off the show with our joke of the day. And it goes like this. What kind of music do balloons hate? Hmm, what kind of music do balloons hate? Pop music. <laughs> Get it? Pop? <laughs> Pop music? Oh, wow. That's a good one. I'll have to use that the next time I visit my friends. I'm sure they will really like it. <laughs> okay, like I said, Professor Pickleby is here, and he is going to be making something really fun. So why don't we give him a very warm welcome? Hello, everybody, and thank you for that welcome. And thank you, Cody, for having me back again. Yes, today we are going to be making a fun craft, and it is called fork flowers. Now, you may be wondering, what are fork flowers? Well, that is what I am going to be showing you today. Now, the things that you will need will be, you will need finger paints in different colors, and we have red, blue, yellow, green, and you will need a fork or two, particularly a three prong, or you can even use a plastic one, which is smaller. I will show you how to use both of them. You want to have some Q-tips and you want to have plates to put your color on. And if you need to cut any edges, some safety scissors. Of course, we need paper. Now, you want to put newspaper on the bottom because, well, you're dealing with paints and it can be a little messy. So, why don't we get started? Okay, now we have everything set up. So, first we're going to take our larger three-prong fork. And what you want to do is you want to roll your fork back a couple times onto the paint. Then you place it on your paper and you roll backwards and forwards. And you get your first flower. So now, you will need plenty of towels, number one. Like I said, it can be a little messy, but also two, you want to wipe your fork off and get as much color off as you can. So then, choose your second color, and we are going to go with orange. Again, we roll, rock and roll. Then we place it. And we roll again. And there you have your second flower. Again, we wipe our fork off. Then, let's see, we will go with purple. And we will roll again. And you want to make sure, try to get covered as much as possible. And we place and we roll again. So there we have three larger flowers. That looks pretty good so far, I think. So we decide to take our smaller fork. And we're going to do, let me see, let's do red. 
and we roll and then we place and there we have a smaller one now how about if we go this time with blue so we roll again get plenty on there and we go to the other side and we have a blue flower all right now we have pretty flowers here but we want to make some stalks there so we take our q-tips or you could use a brush depends on what you have and we dab in the green and we just make our stalks go up to the flowers and we can do this to each one you can make them go in different directions you can make them longer shorter this whole thing is helping you to be creative and we continue putting these on and like I said this is so simple so easy and you can even make these as presents for people or to hang in your room or hang on the refrigerator and we'll even give a couple little sprouts on the edges here already and then here we go we have our fork flowers now I think these are really cool and like I said you can use them for a gift or to decorate your room or a school project that way you can be creative with colors and make any kind of garden that you want because we even made one with pipe cleaners and we simply shaped them snipped them and and glued them right on so that's another way of doing it and we even created one just for mr cody so that way he can put this on his wall. <laughs> Alrighty, kids. Well, thank you for joining me again today. And I really hope that you try this craft. And Mr. Cody, thank you for having me back. And I hope to see you again real soon. Wow. Check this out, everybody. <laughs> oh, my. Well, thank you, Professor Pickleby. That is so cool, and I am going to enjoy this. And you're right, I will put it on my wall so I can see it every day. Wow. <laughs> well, we can, oh, that sound. Okay, peeps, that only means one thing. It is time for questions for Cody. This is where I answer a question from one of my fans. And the letter is, where is it? Oh, thank you right here alrighty and this comes from Lola who is age six Cody if you could be anything you wanted what would you want to be Wow hmm hmm I've never been asked that before but if I wasn't a reading ambassador or a show host I would like to be a forest ranger I love being outside and I love my animal friends. So I think that would be the best thing for me to be. Only if I couldn't be doing this. <laughs> Alrighty Lola, thank you so much for that wonderful question. And if you have a question, be sure to go to CodyObear.com and let me know what you want me to answer for you. <laughs> Alrighty peeps, 
I am so glad that you stopped by again. And be sure to always check me out on Facebook and YouTube. Now, I want to wish you a great week and try something new. And as always, remember, be kind, be healthy, and always be ready for an adventure. Till next time.